Hi everyone, Angela here. To make this wide retro headband with wire, cut your fabric 7 inches wide by 40 inches long. Open it up and fold it in half lengthwise with right sides together matching all the edges. Then fold in half again bringing the short edges together. From this corner we want to cut the ends on a 45 degree angle. The easiest way to mark it is by bringing the side edge down to the bottom edge and making a crease. Or if you have a quilting template, use the 45 degree angle marking as a guide. On the other side, measure across 2 inches from the fold and cut little notches through all the layers. On the bottom folded corner, cut a tiny little hole about quarter of an inch across. Open it up and if you need to, place clips or pins at the notches and on both ends. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use are in the description below. Make sure to use coupon code NOTCHESNV50S for the special offer. At the bottom notch, start by back tacking and stitch using about a quarter inch seam allowance. Stop quarter of an inch before each corner, have your needle down, lift your foot and pivot. You're also going to stitch a seam along the folded edge as well. Back tack at the other notch and trim your threads. The small hole on the fold should be right on the edge of that seam. Next we need to trim the corners, cut across the top making sure not to cut any of the stitching and then trim each side on a slight curve. Going in the center opening, gather up all the fabric and just push the top corner out a little bit. Use a knitting needle or a chopstick to push out both the corners and then pull the rest right side out and repeat for the other side. Adjust all the seams so that they're right in the center and press the entire band. Fold and press the opening seams so that they're even. Use 19 gauge craft wire and measure a length from point to point about 38 inches and cut with side cutters. Then use pliers to round out each end and then squeeze it to flatten. Bring the ends together, lightly fold it in half and set aside. Reach in and pull out the other seam. Insert the wire through the hole so that each end will go in either side of the channel. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on all notifications, and also leave a comment below. Once the ends are pushed right in, straighten out the wire in the center so that it's all inside the channel. With this channel, the wire stays neatly in place along the edge. Sew the opening close with an edge stitch, back tacking at the start and finish. To wear this, just wrap it around your head and twist the ends into any shape that you like. Make sure to check out some of my other videos on my channel. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care and happy sewing.